Hello and welcome, I am Daniel and I'll be showing you how to export from Maya and import into ZBrush. So first of all, I'll open both Maya and ZBrush to ensure that they're both open. <coughs> so as you can see, ZBrush opens. I'll select the Dynamesh Sphere. So the sphere is here, let's minimize that. Now let's go to character model. Okay, so as you can see, I've used this project in previous tasks before. This is my Klaus Kapiter. So what I want to do, I want to select that model. As you can see, it is under P cylinder two, but make sure the model is selected when you do this process. With it selected, I then want to go to File, Export Selection. Now, if I go to the desktop, I'll call it Bubble Boy. Make sure the file type is either OBJ or FBX Export, otherwise the process will not work as smooth. So you then want to export the selection. And then from ZBrush, after you have exported your Maya file, you go into ZBrush and then you want to actually go to the subtool, make sure the subtools are open and the ball is selected. So we have the sphere selected. So then we want to click import up here, go to our desktop, find where that object is, bubble boy, and click open. And as you can see, the model is now in. Now, if you want to add in extra things, like say you want to add in a cauldron or a picnic basket, then you would go append, chuck in another sphere. So I'm just going to move this sphere quickly and make sure the bowl is selected, not the model. So the sphere is selected. So while it's selected, I click import and then bridge. Now this message comes up, says this mesh contains non-standard polygons, more than four sides. Would you like to split these polygons to sets of symmetrical triangles or to a combination of quads and triangles? You want quads and triangles. So you click that and it's as easy as that. So say I want to bring it back. There we go. Now our little Klaus Kapiter is on the model. But say, you know what, I want something else. We go append again, get the sphere, make sure the sphere is selected, import, and then we go down and let's get, actually let's get a basket. So the message comes up again, quads and triangles. It is that easy. And then if you want to export then from ZBrush, all you have to do is go Tool, Export, and I've already made a test folder to show this. So Test, Basket, Save. Now we can close this, don't worry about saving. And if we open up our folder, so here's our folder. We go to our desktop and then we go to Test. Now, there is our basket.mtl, basket.obj, cauldron.mtl, cauldron.obj. So all you do, you drag it in. That's it. But then, say you want to change the colors a bit, right? Because a lot of people like to do that. You make sure that the whole object is selected, and then you just go assign new material, standard surface, boom. Simple as that. But I hope this tutorial has helped and thank you for listening. I'm Daniel and that is all.